Hey you guys, this is Raphael from ShilohRelics.com. I hope you're having a good day. Like my granddad always said, I'm sitting up and taking nourishment, so it's a good day here. I'm glad that you're tuning in for these videos. I hope you enjoyed today's because it's something that you don't encounter very often in today's world. When the Civil War officers or mounted troops had their saddles on the horses. A lot of times they used saddlebags, but if they didn't use saddlebags or if they needed extra room, they would use this leather piece that's known as a valise. And they are made of leather, very sturdy leather. They have the straps on top that are riveted in place. And if you notice, they've got big rivets when you're in a camp metal detecting, a lot of times you'll find a lot of rivets and wonder what did they go on? They will often be found on leather pieces such as this. They show up sometimes on belts. They show up on several different things that you really never think about being riveted in place at the time. So that's where those come from. They have the flap that opens up. And when you open it up, you see that it's got a lining and it's got a black Moroccan leather on the inside. And then you've got one more flap that opens up to reveal an internal compartment. And this is a piece that a lot of the wealthy officers would have used. Generally, they aren't as well made as this one. This one is really finely crafted, not only because of the leather, but also because on the inside, you notice there are little brass clasps. And usually they will have straps to, to tie together, but this one was well enough made that they could afford the extra brass. Generally, they will be about this size and they will have loops on the end to help carry them. When you take it off, you could carry it into your tent. This one, and this is what I love. It's got a personal touch. And I always love items where they have altered it to the way they wanted it. This one has an alteration that I think is really, really cool. They trimmed off the leather handles on the side, but what did they replace it with? They wanted to make it flashy. So they took an eagle plate off of a cartridge box sling. That's an eagle breastplate is what those are referred to. And they show up on the cartridge box that went across the chest of a Union soldier. Now, these things you can imagine when that's bright and shiny and it's right in the middle of that soldier's chest, it made a perfect target. And the Confederates would often refer to these as Yankee bullseyes because that's what you aimed at when you were across the field and saw that Yankee coming at you. So rather than have just the handles, he personalized it with not one, but two of those eagle plates. And when you look inside, I can't give you a close up on it in this format, but you can see it on shilohrelics.com. You can see that those have been on there forever and they're really, uh, the attachments where they come through on the leather is just ancient. And that's one thing you look for when you're trying to decide if something is real or not. You wanna see that everything is consistent. If it's been there for 150 years, that color is gonna be consistent because it's spent every day since it was used and altered in the same conditions. So you wanna see that patina be the same. And patina is a word you hear thrown around a lot in collector's world, but not much anywhere else. Patina means the coloration that something takes after time. And you want to see a consistent thick patina because you can fake patina. Like on reproduction buckles and reproduction breastplates, that patina won't be consistent or it'll be chemically aged. So you want to see all of those things come together for something that is real and untouched. This one has a lot of character. Most of the time, just a standard valise with the straps. Whoop, phone just rang, gonna have to come back in a minute. I'm back again, sorry about that, but I am a one man show and when that phone rings, it means that somebody's called the order line. And when I've got that 13 employees, 
I'll stay doing the videos, but until then, I'm gonna have to jump when it happens because I enjoy doing these videos, but buying and selling is how I provide for my family. And thank you for your patience through stuff like that. I hope you guys are doing well. We were talking about the Civil War officer's valise. These pieces, when they are the standard version with the straps that hold them and the unadorned edges, they usually sell in that four to $600 range. This one has the two Eagle breastplates, and those are a couple hundred dollars a piece these days. This one you can see on shilohrelics.com, and I've got pictures of it inside and out, and you can see the detail work on it. This one's offered for $995 on the website. And when you go on to shilohrelics.com, up in the upper left-hand corner, there'll be a little search tab, and you can put in saddle or valise, and it's spelled V-A-L-I-S-E. So if you get a chance, check that out. If you get a chance, please remember to be kind. We all need to be more kind to each other. The world would be such a better place if we all just took a little bit extra effort and cared for people a little bit more. Because I care about you. I love you. I hope you have a great day. And I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.